Hello everyone, my name is Sammy and welcome. And today I have a thrift haul. I was able to go thrifting uh, not too long ago again and I got some awesome stuff I'm super excited about. I mean, of course, I, I always show you guys so there's always something I'm super excited about. So super excited to show you this stuff. So, so let's get into it. I usually go to the thrift stores on Sundays for some reason, which kind of surprised me when I find really good stuff because Sunday comes after Saturday and Saturday is usually like the busiest day. So I would imagine a good stuff is gone, but I found some awesome, awesome things. So let's get started here. Usually I go from least exciting to most exciting. So we're going to continue that. Now, the first thing I have here is like this metal, I guess, organizer of some sort, but I was super excited to find this because eventually I'm going to have a bunch of magazines fit into the slots and I've already like tested it out with a couple of magazines and it looks so cool. I'm so excited to just have this like sitting out at some point with like a bunch of magazines and you can easily like flip through them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to find something like this. I always love finding like these metal um metal like organizers. It's so cool. Okay, so the next thing I got, which I thought was kind of cool, was this little organizer. It's like double-sided, double and I thought that would be super cool to organize some of my, like, small craft stuff. So, very, very excited. Oh, I guess it was at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. I don't remember what I paid for this. Probably $0.99 cents if I had to take a wild guess, but... I just thought that was really cool to organize some of my smaller craft supplies. The next thing I have here, which what I, I was kind of very interested in and kind of excited for, is this, it's, it's like a swatch, it says swatch buddies at the top and it says swatch lovers. And it's, it says reusable fabric swatch fan kits. And as you can see, it looks like you can just create um little like a little keychain like thing and just put a swatch of fabric onto it and i thought that was super cool i just thought that was super cool because many a times i have gone to the fabric store to buy a piece of fabric to go with something only to come home and realize it doesn't really match the way i wanted it to so this I think would be awesome and on the back if you if you ah, there's a glare if you want to pause and just read that that basically seems to um explain more about it but but yes that is oh well I guess I paid $2.99 for this one I was just going to show you like a side like on the inside view but so yeah, super excited about that and then the next little item I have is this little reusable like Halloween tote bag it does have a couple of it, it, it does have a couple of like small holes at the bottom so i'm probably going to reinforce it somehow because this is a cute little reusable tote and i really want to use it so i'm gonna have to reinforce it somehow i'm not exactly sure what i'll use for it but definitely something because i think it's really cute actually what ended up happening is it was semi busy on that Sunday because there were no baskets or carts to use. So I just had to like lug everything. And so I kind of picked this up. I picked this up to hold like all of my loose items that weren't on hangers. And I was like, you know what? I, I will be buying this. So, so I have that. And then I found a little toy that I couldn't say no to. I found a little, um, Mario Maker Mario and he's so cute if he has like little wheels on the back and if you use them here's oh there we go he goes up and down so I thought that was so cute he was actually like completely sealed in his own little baggie but I opened him up and he's so cute he just sits on my desk okay the next bunch of things I'm going to show you are pants now I don't really buy shirts at the thrift store, not because I feel there's anything wrong with it, just because me personally, I either buy shirts 
um, like merch shirts from other YouTubers to support them. Or I'll buy like um, game merch, like this is my uh, Dead by Daylight 5th year anniversary t-shirt. Or I just like to make my own t-shirts and put my own design on them. But pants? I usually leave that for the professionals because, ooh, I can make shorts, sort of. Oh, but that's the extent of it. Maybe one day I will practice making more pants and leggings, but today is not that day. So I have a good set of pants and leggings here that I am super excited about. And of course, they're Halloween themed. So the first set of leggings that I found, which I was so surprised to find, is check this out they are just your standard mermaid leggings and i thought that that was so cool especially since like this would be like an awesome very simple halloween costume to throw to, to, bleh, to throw together just wear these leggings find like a purple t-shirt or a purple top or something and you could you could buy a wig or you could just maybe like spray your hair red for that day and you could literally be Ariel. And I thought that like, that's so cool and I could not believe that I just found these there. So I definitely bought them. Okay, the next set of leggings that I thought were so cute is these little pumpkin leggings. Oh my gosh, and they are so comfy. Oh my gosh, and they're like fleeced on the inside. Didn't even realize that till right now. I even like washed everything too. I didn't even realize that. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be so comfortable to wear. I am excited. I really wish it would start getting colder outside. <sighs> so anyway, so yes, I didn't even realize that. I am now 10 times more excited to wear these. So, so yes, there are my pumpkin leggings. The next set of leggings and the last set of leggings. <laughs> so cool i i was not expecting to find something like these okay check this out they are like halloween themed cupcakes and i thought that was awesome like there's a little ghost there's like there's like a little cupcake with like dripping blood there's some with stars and candy corn there's like this bigger one. Oh my, i just um oh my gosh there's like a vampire cupcake these are so stinking cute. I am so happy that I like found, oh my gosh, this is like a witch hat. Oh my gosh. And there's like that. These are so cute. I love these and I cannot wait to wear these. So yes, that is it for the leggings. There was actually a couple other leggings that I would have liked to purchase, but it was made out of that material that if you stretch it, the picture gets distorted. Like these look like they're made out of like a fabric, like a actual fabric where those, they look like they're more like printed on. So if you stretch it, the picture gets distorted and even like discolored because when you stretch it, it, it like becomes white as well. Like it's, it's a little weird, but there were a couple of leggings I saw that I don't see the thing is I don't even remember the design but I do remember there were a couple leggings that I I liked the design for and I wanted to buy but didn't because I didn't like that when they stretched they were discolored and disformed I, I don't like that not a big fan of that but yes those were the leggings I did get and I absolutely love them okay we are at the last couple of things I have two more pairs of pants to show you and then the most exciting thing I found. Well, I feel like it's the most exciting thing. Although I have to admit, these leggings and pants are pretty up there. The next two and last pairs of pants are pajama pants. I have been looking for some more pajama pants because I think I have like one pair. And I mean, I just wear sweatpants around, so like it doesn't really matter, but pajama pants usually have fun patterns. And of course I found some Halloween pajama pants. So I will move on to the first pair. And the first pair are little pumpkin pajama pants. They are a little on the short end, but I do have a couple ideas about that. So these might need a little bit of altering. Also, for example, I feel the elastic isn't as good as it once was. So I want to like cut these strings off or pull them out. I don't, I don't know if I can pull them out, but cut them off and then add some new elastic. So it, it does bring itself in a little bit more, just a little bit more. And then 
what I might do to fix the they are too short is to basically make an elastic cuff that'll bring these in and lengthen it a little bit. So we'll see. I might do that or honestly, I might just leave them like this because I can also wear fuzzy socks and fuzzy socks will cover more of my legs. So we'll see. But but these are so cute. I love these. I couldn't say no to these cute little pumpkin pants. Okay, the last pair of pajama pants that I got that I love, which, you know, of course, are these little skeletons dancing pants. Look at them. They're dancing and there's music notes. And these are have that like cuff thing that I was talking about that I might try and do with these pants. So, so yes, uh, these would require basically no altering. Uh, I want to keep this because I kind of like this because it helps your pants stay down and the, the elastic uh, waist is, is good, but they are so cute. And these are fuzzy. These are more of like a thinner material, which I am perfectly fine with. If you do not know me, I don't like the heat. I love cold and I love to be cold. Um, so like thin pants like this is awesome. And of course I do love like, you know, the fuzzy fleece blan uh, blankets <laughs> pants as well. It's just, I prefer to be more cooled and chilled than warm and hot. That's just me. What temperature do you prefer? How's that? There's a question for you. Uh, so yes, I got these pants and they're so cute. And I really can't wait to wear all of this stuff. Uh, but I can't yet because it is too hot out for any of this yet. So yes, that is it for the pants. It is time for the last item, which I am very excited about because eventually when I do, you know, get into my crafting kick again, which will happen, I'm sure soon enough, I will be doing something with this. So... I am just so excited. Here it is. Ooh, it's kind of big. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Check this out. This is a galaxy like blanket cover. Like there is this big zipper here that I believe you're supposed to put like a blanket inside and this would be like the cover for it. And I love this galaxy pattern and I am so happy that I found it because I have been wanting to make a galaxy kimono for a little while now, ever since I played um, Animal Crossing New Horizons and I kind of, you can like make your own clothing and I made like a galaxy kimono in that. I have been wanting to make a galaxy kimono for a while now, like a long time. And with this, I finally can. And the best part is since this is like, um, like two, uh, hold on, like the zipper, because it's a zipper, it's like two, you'll get two pieces of fabric, the front and the back. So like one side I can use to make the kimono and then the other side I can use to make who knows what else. So I just thought that this was so cool. And as soon as I saw this, Oh my gosh, it, I grabbed it right away. It, I was like, you're coming home with me, this is mine. So yes, this I am super excited about. I can finally make that galaxy kimono that I have been wanting so bad. And then, you know, with the other side, I can make who knows what, who knows what else I'll think of to make with it. Like endless possibilities, especially since it's really big. So that I'm super excited about. And I'm just super excited about everything I got here today. So, all right, that is it. That is the end of my thrift haul. I am super excited with the stuff I got. You know, some stuff is more on the helpful side, some stuff is clothing, and some stuff is for crafting the future. So, okay, this video is a little longer than I was thinking. <laughs> I am sorry if you're still here. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Subscribe maybe and maybe hit the like button if you want to. Um, and I guess I'm gonna get going. I did, I did start to order pieces to make a costume. So when those get here, hopefully I can start working on a costume video for the month of October. Uh, we shall see, hopefully, finger crossed. 
So, okay, I'm gonna get going now. So, I hope you all have a good day or night, depending when this is uploaded. <laughs> Please make sure to take care of yourselves. Please drink water, stay hydrated, um, eat some good food. Um, make sure you do some stuff that you enjoy and make sure to take some time for yourself to just relax, regroup, um, and that's pretty much about it. So I will see all of you next time. Bye!